I'm open to hiring. What's up guys, welcome to another video. Welcome to the studio in Long Island City. We are today in FD Studio in Long Island City and we're gonna be shooting with our model, Mary. She's right there, somewhere getting ready. She's gonna be done soon. For the first shoot, I'm gonna use these massive windows here uh, for the light, as a main light. I'm gonna put a, some kind of reflection here on the front, uh, probably white, just to bounce the light back into her. We're gonna do shots with some 135 mil. I just wanna get some couple of really nice, beautiful shots with the natural light and then we're gonna move on to shoot a couple of different umbrellas. I actually brought two umbrellas today. They look identical. The difference is that inside one is white, one is silver, so you're gonna be able to see what the difference is that you shoot with the same modifier, just with a different light inside. <sighs> that was a lot for the intro. When I'm already there, just like, subscribe, and all that mumbo jumbo thing that kids like these days. Come on. Tilt chin down, just eyes on me. There you go. A little smile, tiny smile. There you go. Stay right there, don't move. Uh huh. A little smile. There you go. Uh, show a little bit more to me and just drop it down a little bit. Uh huh. There you go. Uh huh. And give me a little smile. There you go. And give me just a tiny smile while you do all of that. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, this is DIY. This is how you fix if you don't have a smaller clamp. You use the industrial clamp from... Oh, I have an air pack. Oh, this perfectly works. This, this is fine. Absolutely fine. All right, Mary, hit it. Uh-huh. All right. Mm -hmm. I just look... Right? I look like I'm pregnant. No, you... How she said? She looks like she's pregnant. That's how pregnant women look like, by the way, if you didn't know. So all Not the other ones that you saw... Right they look like uh, they're huge. They have the big bellies. They're, they're not pregnant, she's pregnant. We finished with the first look. We used all the natural light from the outside. This one's gonna be uh, actually with the flashes. We have a cycloramic backdrop uh, today to shoot on. I'm gonna use my beloved uh, Godox 600 as a main light. Uh, I have a six foot umbrella on it with a white uh, interior. And underneath I have a Pulsi Buffs uh, what is this, 800 head? I don't even know what model this is, doesn't really matter. You can do this with any flash. Uh, these two are not obviously from the same company, so the frequencies on the receiver are not gonna work the same. So my main flash is my trigger, the bottom one is set up to be a slave. So as soon as the top one flashes, the bottom one will flash with it. The only thing that you have to pay attention with is this is not a high speed uh, flash, so you have to keep your shutter to max of one through, let's say 160 to be safe, because this, this soft box here is missing the, um, the what do you call this, um, the cover, the diffusion. Diffusion is the word of the day. Because it's missing diffusion, I'm gonna make a diffusion with this uh, reflector here because I need it to be as soft as possible. Now I need a clamp. Clamp, it's right there. There you go. Mm -hmm. Kind of, you can just pop the pop the like a knee or push a hip out, uh, just to give you some curve. Yeah. So if you're standing if you're standing straight to me, you can do like something like on the side or pop it like whatever, just to kind of more. Ang oh, this, I was like, what's happening? All right, three, two, one, go. Uh, actually, walk a little bit faster so I can have your stuff kind of moving as you as you walk. All right, three, two, one, go. Perfect. Uh huh. And turn, turn a little bit more to the light and just give me a tiny smile. There you go. Uh huh. Perfect. Uh -huh. the, this is a struggle of being a photographer in New York. When you rent a studio, you can't close the... No, I'm just going to break it. Because I didn't have time to go in between to explain you the next stop that we did. Uh, I brought Mary right here on these uh, 
steps that have wheels on, so I just push them onto the wall to use the sun coming from the window, and then I use this wheat flat here to bounce the light back into her, and I shot also with 135 from way down the studio, just so I can get a kind of whole body. And then I did a couple of shots more closer to the window. There's gonna be closer shots, uh, just to use as much as this light from outside. So we have sport look, elegant look, and a beauty shot. That's the only three shots that we left. And we still have hour and 20 minutes, which is amazing. I don't know how I did this, all of this in 40 minutes, but I guess after you shoot so much, you got quick at it. And I'm quick, boy. What's up? For the next look, we're gonna have Mary on the bed here. I'm gonna use all the natural light coming from the outside. I just have a V flat on her right side, just bouncing some light back into her. And the window behind her has a curtain on so I can have a darker background comparing to her so she can stand out. Keep a smile on your face as you do that. All right, three, two, one. A second. Yes! So we're gonna do the beauty shots now. I have two umbrellas. One is with the white, one is with the silver reflector inside. So in that way, you can see how each of these uh, make a difference light on a model when you're shooting it. So now first we're gonna do the white one and then we're gonna do the silver one and then I'm gonna put you photos next to each other so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm talking too much, let's work. Give a little smile. Do you don't recognize her? Not me. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's do it. Show me those white teeth. It's like a dental commercial. Second. That's it guys, we are done for today's shoot. I hope you like what we did today, that you actually learned something new and something that you didn't know before. Mary was an amazing model and thank her for that and thank you for my team that did an amazing job again and less than two hours of shoot we did, I don't know, four or five changes and three looks at least. Let me know what you think, put in the comments what photo was your favorite and I'll see you in the next vlog. Ciao, ciao.